We've taken a look at a lot of good practices in how to solder the different connectors that you're going to find actually on site and in the field. In the next few moments, we're going to take a look at some examples that aren't so good. In fact, soldering, like, any other, like anything else in life, takes some time to develop and become skilled at it. So some of your early terminations may not look very good. Some of my early terminations didn't look very good. But with enough practice, you too can make good solder connections. Okay, let's take a look at just some random terminations that we've seen. And these are not staged connections, by the way. These are actual connections made by uh, some folks. The first thing that I would notice here is there's no heat shrink coming out of the back of the connector. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can find. Well, there is a little bit of heat shrink here, but very little. But as we take a look at this, let's see, very little heat shrink. And as you can see, the way this comes up out of the socket or out of the cup here is coming up from the bottom and kind of angling up. Really, this should be laying in the cup itself. Um, you can see where the jacket is actually touching the cups as well. Now here you can see a little bit of conductor between the jacket and the cup. That would be good. But here it's touching the cup, so that would not be good. Plus there's not enough heat shrink. Let's take a look at the other end of this. This is actually a, a quarter inch tip sleeve. Again, I'm not seeing heat shrink coming out of the other side. Let's open it up and see what we find. Okay, there's a little bit of heat shrink here, but look what's the black conductor here. Now, they weren't going to use the black conductor on this, and what would we have done with that? We would have folded it back, and it would have been under a long piece of heat shrink there, wouldn't it? And you can see here where the, the solder really isn't filling the cup. I've got a big gap here in the back. There just isn't enough solder in that particular cup. Um, the jacket's a little close, but obviously that termination could use a, a little more work. Let's look at some others here. Here's a quarter inch tip sleeve, and the first thing that you notice is the jacket isn't even making it up into the body of the connector. So yeah, the black is folded back. In fact, they've even looped it around a little bit, which is not a, a good idea. Usually you would want to bring it just straight back. But you know here that if there's strain relief clamped over this, as we can see, they're trying to clamp around the two conductors here, and there's not even enough clamp to provide any strain relief whatsoever. So the entire strength of the termination is dependent upon the solder connection. And here, you can clearly see where the conductor is. In fact, that's going over one of the lugs there, one of the open holes. So there's actually very little contact between the lug here and the actual conductor. And there's not enough solder, as we can see. Plus, we're stripped too far back here between the jacket and the lug itself. The bottom part here doesn't look, well, there's not enough solder here at this point. Um, honestly, there's just not a, lot, not a lot of good contact at that particular joint. So no strain relief, jacket stripped back too far, and just uh, not really enough solder being used. Let's take a look at a couple of others here and see what we, see what we can find. Here's a tip sleeve quarter. Yeah, here's another one where really, is there any strain relief on this? You can see where the jacket is. If I take a look at this, the jacket isn't even up underneath where this should have been crimped down. So again, the entire weight of the cable is borne by the solder connections. Now, the one here at the top doesn't look too bad, but the one down here at the bottom looks really rough. Just doesn't look like enough heat was applied when, uh, when the termination was made. So that one could use a little work as well. All right, let's see what this last one looks like. Another quarter inch tip sleeve. No heat shrink coming out the back. Let's see what we find. Okay, well, there is a little bit of heat shrink here. That's good. The black is folded back. But what we find here, and you, this is another example where there's not enough solder in the cup, but whatever happened here, it looks like it got too hot because you can see where the jacket itself is beginning to melt away from the conductor. So this is an indication that it just got too hot, so the solder cup's not filled, and when they did it, it was just getting way too hot. Um, as far as the bottom connector, that doesn't look like a real even flow of solder, so that didn't, that didn't turn out too well either. So here are some examples of what you really don't want your work to look like. We've taken a look at both good and bad solder connections, 
And with good tools, a little practice, you'll be able to perfect your technique and you too will make good solder connections.